Round Robin is a Strand legendary hand cannon added to Destiny 2 as part of the Lightfall DLC. This one is great for Strand builds and it's a near Moonal weapon. It's also got some fantastic PvP rolls for today. If you want to take a closer look at the weapon, check out the stats and the perks in the Garolster Chase for PvP and also PvE. Plus we'll find out how to get the Round Robin in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell and roughly 95% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Okay, let's dive right into that most important information for how to get the round robin. So to get this one, the easiest way is to get it from a post-Lightfall campaign quest. So once you finish up the Lightfall campaign, you get a quest from Nimbus called From Zero. So here you have to collect regional chests. They're hidden all over Neomona. Once you've found those chests, you complete public events, patrols, and collect materials. And then finally, take out a powerful Cabal. That will complete the From Zero quest. And once you've done that, you'll get the Iterative Loop Fusion Rifle. So once you've completed that, then that gives you access to another quest from Nimbus called Two Hero. And that two hero quest is going to guarantee you the reward of the round robin hand cannon. So it's the same process all over again. First collect regional chests. Just make sure to use the map to help you find those chests. You can see them on the map. They can be a little bit hidden in nooks and crannies. But don't worry, keep searching. Use that map and you will find them. Then complete public events. And finally, you want to defeat a powerful cabal in Callus's ship. And once you've done this... Make your way back to Nimbus to pick up that round robin. Then once you have it in your inventory, you can get it from public events. Also, the gold patrols are a very good way to get near Moon weapons. And also, farming for Neptune reputation and leveling up with Nimbus will reward near Moon weapons. That is another good way to get the round robin. Okay, let's have a closer look at the round robin. It's a legendary kinetic hand cannon with an aggressive frame, meaning it's got high damage and high recoil. Is optimized for long distance shooting. Looking at the stats, we've got 92 for impact, 56 for range, 20 for stability, 24 for handling, 22 for reload speed. It's got 14 for airborne effectiveness. It's a 120 rounds per minute hand cannon with 8 in the magazine. And this one comes with the Origin Trait Nanotech Tracer Rockets, where landing multiple hits turns your next shot into a homing micro missile. Okay, let's have a look at the round robin god roll guides. For PvE, corkscrew rifling, flared magma, envious assassin, and hatchling would be good. Corkscrew rifling slightly increases range and stability and slightly increases handling speed. You've got flared magwell, so slightly increased stability, greatly increases reload speed. You've got envious assassin, so rapidly defeating targets with other weapons before drawing this one. Transfers ammo to the magazine from reserves. This effect can overflow the magazine based on the number of targets defeated. Finally, we've got the Strand-specific perk Hatchling. Precision final blows or rapidly defeating targets with non-precision weapons spawns a Threadling at the target's location. For PvP, on the other hand, Full Bore, Ricochet Rounds, Keep Away and Kill Clip would be good. Full Bore greatly increases range, decreases stability, slightly decreases handling speed. Ricochet Rounds increase stability, slightly increases range. Keep Away, so you've got increased reload, range and accuracy when no combatants are in close proximity, and then kill clip, reloading after a kill grants increased damage. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about that round robin, and let me know your favourite roles, and that is it for this guide for how to get the round robin in Destiny 2. Well, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you real soon.